Andy, um, thanks for joining Event Industry News. You're uh, here today to talk um, about CDM. We're pretty much a, a year on, aren't we, from when it, it, it actually came into effect. Yeah. Um, where are we with things and what are you going to be speaking about and addressing the delegates with today? Well, um, I'm going to be uh, addressing the delegates along with a representative from the Health and Safety Executive to tell people just how uh, CDM is not really going to affect them too much this year shouldn't have really affected them too much last year um, it's just another way of looking at the management arrangements for safety at a, on, in a construction site when you say it's not going to affect them uh, as, uh, too much this year is this because a lot of people are doing things pretty much as cdm would like them to be to be done anyway precisely um, if you working safely in the first place then uh, your arrangements are obviously uh, adequate to enable a safe workplace and that's what CDM is all about. I think um, what it uh, what it looks at from from our members' point of view, who are the contractors who supply services to festivals, is that it, it puts the onus on the client to allow them to do their job safely, um, which most festival organisers are doing already. I know you've been working closely with the HSE uh, on this, and, uh, and as you said, somebody from the HSE is actually going to be involved in your session today. Um, what are their thoughts? Are, are they uh, on a similar page in terms of being very heartened by the way the industry has adopted it? But equally, are they also looking to make sure that they are enforcing where applicable? Well, what what the CDM regulations have meant to the HSE really is that they've had a, a change in their enforcement regime, whereas before they had the entertainment uh, sector and local authorities at enforcing safety on festival sites, um, because it's a construction-related uh, regulation, their construction division is now the enforcement decision, d division. So most of the uh, education in, in terms of event safety has been edu them educating their enforcers in how we work and issuing guidance to them and to us in, into how to work with what is a, a construction-based um, safety regime. So really, uh, you know, it's been us advising them as to how we work so they can make CDM work for us and make us work safer. Have they given any indication as tall as in terms of targets as to what, uh, how many events they may like to just go on site and have a look at this year? Have we already got any statistics back from last summer? I know that the event industry is a year-round sector, but admittedly it does peak and, and, and increase significantly in the summer months. Yeah, um, they did have a look at around 20 to 25 uh, different outdoor events last year, and they weren't just festivals, there were a, a number of different outdoor events. Mm -hmm. And the things they looked at um, were the main construction risk, which are generally working at height, um, workplace transport, some manual handling. Um, and they looked at activities. They didn't look for paperwork. They didn't look for risk assessments. They didn't look for um, construction phase safety plans and see what your paperwork was like. They looked at activities. And some of those activities were a little lacking. Um, and one of the key points they came out with was that um, arrangements for safe working practices are all well and good in the get-in phase because everything works beautifully. But in the get out, which is where they did a lot of their expect, uh, inspections, it looks like a bit more of a free for all, and that's where we need to improve. How um, how good has the communication been from uh, event organisers on the whole in coming and approaching and being proactive in seeking information about CDM from organisations like the PSA and from the HSE directly and other stakeholders involved in promoting and, and highlighting the issue? Well, there's been a lot of active engagement. I mean, you look at this and the Association of Independent Festivals has been very active in getting its members engaged. So therefore, the engagement has been encouraged by so many different industry bodies, every um, festival related conference, events related related conference have had sessions about CDM um, for the past couple of years so it's a, you know the engagement and the fact that the HSE are willing to put people out of the office and get them to engage with organizers at all these events um, shows that you know people are willing to learn and they're willing to teach. So the message today is very much to continue the good work that they're doing um, in terms of the festival organizers and uh, to keep communicating. Yeah just work safely. Mm -hmm.